Hello, and welcome to this World Highways Roundtable on how the digital revolution is transforming life on site for the better. We asked three leading experts on machine control technology from Leica, Topcon and Trimble to tell us how they're helping the construction sector improve its productivity levels and adopt new technologies. They say it's time to join the revolution and find out how to work smarter. The way forward is far more intuitive than you might think. So let's hear more from our key opinion leaders. We think a lot about the workflows to make sure that uh, it's easy for the customer to understand what the, the purpose is and what the end goal is. The more important ones would be to make it easy to adopt, to make sure that you think about the customer's ecosystem. Uh, I know we all have ecosystems which we need to have as well, but we also need to think about the customer side of things. Uh, we need to make sure it's compatible and as agnostic as possible. Again, that's coming into a bit of more openness. And then I think support the customer to, to actually adopt this as fast as possible. And that could be with training, remote trainings. And I think all of us, I assume, have worked hard to make sure we can do this remotely and then make sure that we can support them during this uh, integration process. I would echo uh, the things that Magnus said. And really, from our perspective, it's also a multi-pronged approach because we've got our you know, private sector customers and contractors that are utilizing the technology today. And probably one of the biggest challenges is just educating the market. And not only the private sector contractors, because I think all of us in the round table would agree, once a customer adopts the technology, they never go back. One of the big challenges is educating the government agencies, ministries of transport, DOTs, uh, the people that are writing the specifications and creating the bids. We kind of feel like education is a big part of it. We also, and I'm sure uh, the other guys are doing this as well, have a, a very active uh, program with universities and educational institutions to help move uh, equipment and move this technology into the, into the uh, educational experience. So we're helping to train that new workforce that's coming out of university and getting into the business. Add that one of the other barriers to adoption in the past has probably been just the level of capital intensiveness to buy and particularly machine control system. It was really just kind of the top tier, the top of the pyramid of the market that was adopting. And we see, uh, as Magnus said, simplification in the UI and the UX, ease of use, and then also making it, the solutions more cost effective so that we can really get down to broad scale mass adoption uh, with owner operators. I mean, phenomenal to see that we're all thinking along the same lines here. We, we know what needs to be done in the industry. It takes time and it takes a, a lot of people. And I think working together, I mean, both Magnus and Jamie touched on it, the education of the, the, the bodies that set some of the specifications um, and standards um, really is critical that we all work together on this. Um, I think also the op openness of the, the data flows, the workflows, the interoperability of the solutions is actually critical. There is a, a scenario at the moment where if you have multiple different types of technologies, it can be making um, life pretty difficult for um, the users of, of the solutions. Bringing everything together and, and, and seeing more integration between the technology players within the industry is, is really coming to the forefront at the moment. Getting technologies um, into schools, into operating engineers societies, um, and, and, and we're seeing um, a number of training facilities being set up either directly within the construction companies or plant hire companies. And, and I know that we're all doing our best to support those, um, those opportunities to train the, the current generation and next generation workforce that, that's coming through at the moment. And then I guess from a product perspective, um, something that we can do, and, and Jamie, Jamie hit on this one as well, is making the technology just simpler or, or really more intuitive to use. When you're using digital solutions, it's a change in process from what you're doing today to what you need to be doing with the digital solutions. So making sure that, that that change in process is as intuitive as possible, just to reduce the downtime and, and the frustration levels that go through when you're adopting any new process, um, I think a key to success of um, bringing technologies into the industry. So there you have it. It pays to get educated. We can help reduce your downtime and frustration levels, says Scott. We have the training systems to make it easy, says Magnus and it won't cost as much as you might think, says Jamie. Once you've adopted this new and far more accurate way of working, you'll never go back. 
Well, we hope you've enjoyed this snapshot from our World Highways Roundtable series because there are plenty more to come. To see the full discussion, go to www.worldhighways.com forward slash videos. Thank you and see you next time.